here, I'm down here at, uh, at the lake, and uh, this Jesus Mobile baby, an E-F-F-E-C-T, full effect. We're living the Christ life, and the Christ life don't make me better than you. God don't teach me to be better than you. Jesus didn't teach me to be better than you. He teaches me how to be better than Daryl used to be. And as I look out here and just uh, think about yesterday, which we're not supposed to go backwards, but it was a learning experience to me that uh, no matter who people are in your life, no matter how many years you've known them, um, if they have demons on them and they're not in their word, they're in the world, they will come against you like a pack of raven wolves, man. I was attacked yesterday in Walmart by a Christian sister, big deal. Got in my face, was waving her hands around, simply a demon on her. The good Lord told me to sit still and listen and, and watch. And she's learned a lesson from that, I hope, um, about dressing up on Halloween. God gave me a message for her. Um, I gave it to her, right? Praise the Lord. Because when God gives a message from the kingdom of heaven through the Holy Spirit, which lives in us, we give it. God doesn't give it to judge or to make fun of. Jesus didn't come to the world to say, you're a drug addict, you're a, you're a drug pusher, a drug user, a prostitute, homosexual, or you dress up for Halloween, you're a bad person. No, he gives us messages to distinctly tell people where they're messing up, which is iron sharpens iron. I believe it's Proverbs chapter 27, verse 11, I believe, but iron sharpens iron. So if you're not in your word, she, which she wasn't, she's in the world more than that, we can't watch preachers, me, um, Joyce Meyer, anybody, and expect to grow because when you're listening to other people preach and not reading your word, it's like watching someone eat a plate of food and you're hungry. Well, you're not going to get fed by just watching other people eat. So you must eat, which is read your Bible. Praise the Lord. So basically, guys, yesterday as I'm being attacked there, you know, God had a good uh, sister there at the cashier, man, who, uh, you know, said, wow, that's awesome. Keep standing up. Keep doing what you're doing. You know, it stays like that. I mean, don't want to give up, but it's so frustrating. And her and another Christian sister, they come against me for giving them God's message, you know. Instead of opening their ears and softening their hearts, now Daryl's the bad guy. So they're running around gossiping and this and that. But I only care what God thinks. <clears throat> and this message is to my brothers and sisters out there. We don't answer to man. We don't answer to other preachers and pastors. We answer to Jesus Christ and Father God through Jesus Christ, okay. Until Jesus reigns over for, you know, all eternity with all full authority. But um, don't let me be discouraged, okay? It's a tough life, living the Christ life. Jesus said the world hated me first, and they're going to hate you if we follow him, right? Pretty much is what scripture says. I don't know the address on that one, the book and the verse, the chapter and the verse. That's what address means. But uh, I just want you all to keep the faith and hold on to your faith. And when God gives you a message up in heaven, I'd rather have people mad at me for giving them the, the truth than lie to them and make God mad at me. You see what I'm saying? We're messengers of God, at least we all should be. Call on the Holy Spirit and say, have your way, Holy Spirit, in this situation, that situation. I gave two messages on fear. A Christian sister was wearing a mask. He was barely breathing. <gasps> Her face was all bloodshot red while she's something. You see the mask going in and out and she's gasping for air. And I said, why? Why do you have so little faith? Why do you fear and wear a mask? God has a perfect plan and purpose for your life. And a mask and a disease, nothing would take you home, even a parachute. If I was in a plane up in the air and I fell and hit the ground, poof, and my, my parachute did open, people walk away from that. Tragic accidents, they walk away from it. Why? Because it wasn't their time. We don't need to fear anything, guys. So when you give a message from God and they say, oh, you're judgmental and this and that, and you're judging me. No, that's what Satan lies to them and tells them. And it's un unashamed. But if I would have did what this lady did to me, I'd be sitting at the uh, local prison or jail and I would have been kicked out of the Walmart. But it was meant to happen. It was meant to be. Why? Because the lady looked really foolish. And it was just sad. And I, and I remember those moments when I lost my temper with other Christian brothers and sisters. But, you know, um, just know, don't give up. Keep kicking your cross up on a daily. Keep pushing forward and follow Jesus. If Jesus was out there in the water and he said, and I say, show me your real. And he says, come to me. And I start walking on this lake. That would be pretty amazing. And I would do so. But praise the Lord, guys. If my faith was really strong, I could walk on this water. You know, Jesus mustard seed faith of must uh, faith of a mustard seed it moves mountains right a mustard seed grows into a giant strong tree one of the strongest right but you can stay in your word stay holy spirit filled and get out of the world watching tv and secular music and um and christian sisters and brothers who are negative stay away from them you know pray for them from a distance don't um you know unless unless the holy spirit prompts you to say something and that's my lesson learned after yesterday 
but um, she's always got questions. She's always asking questions. I give her answers, and she said that, oh, you bother me at work. I don't got no time. She didn't have no time for correction, but she's got plenty of time to complain and talk about her life and different things, which we all do, you know. And But she was being a hypocrite, you know, telling me I was bothering her, trying to make me out to be the bad guy. But in all reality, she hugs me and gives me high fives for Jesus every day. But as soon as I gave her that truth of God, man, Seasons change, boy. <laughs> it went from a summer day having fun with her to a wintry cold day for Daryl Burr. But this is what we got to do, man, as followers of Jesus Christ. And I don't want you to ever, and I'm not judging her whatsoever. I remember being her, being in the world, and yelling at people for giving me the truth. So I completely understand where she was coming from. I'm not mad at her. I mean, how can I be mad? I'm just giving God's truth. But you will be hated for giving God's truth when you're doing this Christ life, man, following Jesus. And um, it's tough some days. But you know what? Our God is tougher. Anything you face, big you think, God is bigger, and he will protect you while you do his work. Fear not. No masks, no vaccinations. Jesus is your vaccination. God is your protection, not a mask. To everybody out there walking around with masks on, stop and have faith in God. He's never let anybody down in thousands of years. He's not going to start with us today. And I'm, hate, I'm America's most wanted now around here. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. God kept David um, safe uh, when he was on the run from Saul. And I call on God Almighty, who I talk to all day long, to keep me safe from any of these lies from hell. Anything come against me, let God crush all my enemies like he crushes, uh, he crushes everybody in the past. When David called out and said, Lord, you take care of my enemies. And I find true joy and peace and love when I'm in the presence of God is why I talk about God so much. People say, you talk about God too much. I say, well, you don't talk about him enough. And then they say, oh, what are you better than me? No, but I'm happier. I'm at peace. And your money and your, you know, your buzz and all that stuff can't buy and can't make you feel. Only in the presence of the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, can you find peace, guys. And that's why I stay in the presence of our Lord, because he supplies my peace and comfort and joy and my strength and my courage to keep pushing on because it's not me. I'm a weak man who serves a strong God. Hallelujah. He gives me this courage and boldness. I'm nothing without him. Nothing but a frightened little man. Yeah, I said it. I'm a frightened little man. But when you got God flowing through you, you're a mighty soldier in his, in his army. You don't care. You don't fear, man. You fear God. Man can take your life. Big deal. Can't touch my soul, man. I get to go to heaven right after this, man. Oh, our last breath here is our first breath in heaven, guys. Praise the Lord. Be with all our family and friends and Jesus Christ himself. And everybody who believed in Jesus and who got saved and asked for forgiveness and believed in Jesus and he died and rose again from the dead. It's that simple. Praise the Lord, guys. Peace be with you. And we got the victory, the V-I-C-T-O-R-Y, victory in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Salvation is waiting for us, but you can have true joy and peace right now, even through being attacked for just doing the Lord's work. At least it ain't spit on me and punch me and hang me on a cross. I mean, if this is the worst I got to go through and a lie from hell that ripped my daughter out of my life and everything I own, that's, that's my cross, man. That's what God revealed to me. He had a perfect plan and purpose. And what I went through, he used so much evil for good in my life to be a good teacher of his word and getting close to him to let the Holy Spirit flow. And I'm still never going to give up because Jesus didn't teach me how to give up. He didn't teach you how to give up. When you want to give up, get in your word, call on God for his strength and, and firepower, the Holy Spirit to get you pushing on and get God's messages out there. Invite the Holy Spirit into your life and let God's messages come through you because he knows everybody needs to hear around this whole area. He knows what he needs to hear in my area, in your area. Let the Holy Spirit flow. Let God speak through you to talk to these lost souls so they can be found in Jesus Christ and a friendship with him, with Father God. Only through Jesus is the only way to the Father. Not Mary, his mom, nobody else. We pray to God through Jesus Christ. Everything goes through Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Peace be with you. And one day, Nothing will have to go through Jesus. It'll all be Jesus. He will have full authority of the kingdom of heaven and all of all of everything. And it's just amazing, guys. God bless you, and uh, I love you all. Keep fighting a good fight of faith. And remember, um, people used to love me when I was a liar. Now when I'm bringing the truth, it just proves that the world, uh, the world loves its own. And what I mean by that, I'm a Maryland Terp fan, right? Go Terps, baby, right? Fear the turtle, but fear Jesus. But... These Michigan Wolverine fans don't like Maryland Terp fans, just like people who don't love Jesus. That they're running with Lucifer. You're only rolling with God or the devil. Rolling with the Terps or the Wolverines. So if you're on the other team, they despise you and hate you. You get it now, right? Get it, got it good. Peace be with you as I just contemplate and lift all my worries, burdens, and this day up to the Lord. Because I lift up the heavy burdens. I like walking around with a light yoke. And Jesus said what I have... My yoke is light. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A beautiful seagull flying around. Hallelujah. To me, that's God Almighty right there. Just like the dove that floated over Jesus as he was baptized. Praise the Lord. He said, I'm well pleased in you, son. That's what I'm feeling right now. How crazy is that, guys? You see him up there? I'm feeling that right now from the Spirit. God's well pleased with me. I'm a sinner, just like you, but I repent. Pick my cross back up and I keep pushing on. Repent, then pray. All right? Praise the Lord. Wow. Man, the feeling I got now, right now, guys, is amazing. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's pleased with me and he's pleased with you. Just pick that cross up and let the Holy Spirit lead the way. Hallelujah.